Good morning. My name is Eric Falkenhagen. I'm the Recreation Program Director at Town of Oak Island. And I'm here to introduce uh, Mary Ellen Rogers, who is the Director of Sea Biscuit Rescue here on, at the Town of Oak Island. And we're here for the uh, virtual Earth Day this week. And Mary Ellen's been kind enough to take us on a tour of uh, Sea Biscuit. Mary Ellen? Hi. Good morning and happy Earth Day. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be at Middleton Park as usual with my pelicans and hawks, but um, we'll show you around a little bit. Most people can't come to the Sea Biscuit because it's not open to the public. So this is, inside the house is our food prep area, and we've got food all laid out for the various birds, but there, some of it's not thawed out yet, so they'll have to wait. Um, but the birds that are seriously injured are in the house. If you find an injured or orphaned wild bird, just give us a call and uh, I want you to take a shot of the license or the thing on the car with the phone number on it. Um, and that way I can get the call and we can help you rescue it and bring it here. Come on in. I don't know whether you can even see him. That's a little screech owl. He was hit by a car. So cute. So he has an eye injury, but he is rapidly gaining weight. And as soon as he's big enough to go, we're going to release him because even with the eye injury, he can see well enough to catch his own food. Over here, that's Jethro. Jethro is a little mockingbird that was found uh, while he was still ready to leave. This is Benson the barn owl. I'm going to open the gate so you can get a good look at him. If I had food in my hand, he'd be on us. I'm sure. <laughs> Bard owls make that clicking sound. He can't see well, um, but uh, he can fly and he has a, an old wing break so he doesn't fly quietly. These two patients in here are um, Cooper's hawks. Oh, wow. And they're beautiful they little are. hawks, ferocious little predators. If you look at that one on the loose tub, he's, you'll see he has a swollen toe. That doesn't sound like a big deal, but if you're a Cooper's hawk, you need that toe to kill the, the prey. They catch birds and birds fly around inside the trees and they are very agile, very good flyers. The guy on the ground is uh, a little more local. The one with the, the sore toe is from New Jersey and she was banded up there at Cape May. The other guy on the ground uh, had, got hit by a twink. <laughs> up in and survived. Yep. But his eye is still a little wonky, and we think it'll we'll probably be a couple of weeks later in the queue. We'll get him out of here. Back here in our big flight pen is Scarlet sitting on a pair of eggs. They're not fertile. Uh -oh. uh, no, it's not Scarlet. I'm sorry, that's Glenda. Glenda is also known as the Town Hall Hawk. She was hit just outside town hall next to the parking lot and has a broken collarbone. She can fly, but not really well. She can fly from the rope to the perch, um, but um, that, that requires a lot of effort for her. But she and Scarlet the Hawk take turns sitting on those eggs. So we really enjoy watching them because they'll yell at us if we get too close. They, both of those will not be released. Neither one of them will be released. These are the ones we bring around to um, educational programs indoors. Once they are outdoors, they really want to fly away, and it's very difficult to keep them calm. These enclosures back here. Something else people don't usually get to see. This is where Barney, the barred owl, is. Barney was also hit by a car, we think. He was found on the side of the road in Calypso, North Carolina. And that's where, where he will be returned when he's ready to be free. He had a broken wing, but now he flies beautifully. These are, um, well, just kind of an example.
example of our role models. We have a baby morning dove. Baby morning dove didn't have an adult mentor. So she, um, the nearest thing we've got to a morning dove in here was this pigeon that was attacked by a cat. So the pigeon has taken over the mom role and um, has taught the baby to pick up the seed just like he does. One more enclosure back here before we get to the big guys, the pelicans. And these guys are big too. Two turkey vultures and a black vulture. All with wing injuries. And it's interesting because turkey vultures have a great sense of smell. So they're the ones who take the lead when they go looking for food. And they can smell the food. But the black vultures follow them and then they take charge and they pick the part that they want best and chase off the turkey vultures. So if I put one plate of food in there, there'd be a little skirmish going on. So uh, everybody gets their separate plates and I put them in different parts of the cage so they don't get next to each other. Because that's the only time they uh, squabble. Most of the time they're right there next to each other being, being very supportive. I may have to send them to a zoo or an aquarium. I don't know whether they'll ever be releasable. Just in with the pelicans as they go in there at night. <laughs> and they're looking for food. Yeah. <laughs> this is Tim. Everybody knows Tim. And Tessa is a new arrival with us, and she's going to be a permanent resident here too, as well as Tim. Uh, they're both really good mentors to the incoming wounded. Uh, these two, this one has an eye injury and the other one has a wing injury. Uh, they're the juveniles, the, the brown heads, and the white-headed birds are the adult. Just like people, they get white heads when they get older. And they have a little bit of their breeding plumage, I call it, even though it's male. Um, he has lipstick. In the spring, they get pink uh, or orange around their mouths. Yeah, okay, you're going to get your food. Yes, <laughs> They know. They do. They know they're coming. There's the other fish one. Fish are coming soon. Yeah. Hey, you want to bring the fish over? You don't love this. <laughs> <laughs> will Tim do his dance? Yes, he will. All right, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you can step inside. They won't come anywhere near you. We have an assortment of um, fish. Sometimes people bring them to us, and sometimes I have to buy them if we kind of run out. Isn't that good? 